Hi everybody, it's Jersha, and today I have another Thread Up box. This is one of the jewelry boxes. It's the five pound DIY crafter box or something like that. Um, they used to be like 10 pounds for $20. Now they are five pounds for $34, I think. So it's a lot more expensive, but I had a coupon for 15% off and someone used my referral code, so I got it for like $8, which is, I'd say, a pretty good deal. I already started opening it, um, and then I decided that I was going to film a video because I haven't filmed one in a while, so the packaging has already been opened, as you can see, and a little paper in here, and I ripped this open, and I'd say that it looks pretty good so far, just based on the uh, packaging. So let's get started pulling jewelry out. So this is one of the things that caught my eye because it has a tag on it. It's J. Crew Factory, which is not really that big of a deal. And this thing is um, pretty loud, I would say. It's definitely very interesting, that's for sure. And then this is all tangled up or something, I don't know. The brand is Aldo, A-L-D-O. I'll have to figure out how this goes because like this is pulled oddly, I don't know. Got an iridescent ribbon choker. Little blingy starch bracelet. The statement necklace, it's got like a tortoise shell um, kind of a color to the brown parts. And then there's yellow and clear. Oh, this is an earring. This is a J. Crew earring. Maybe the other one will be in there. And this looks like it might be J. Crew as well. Yep, it's J. Crew. Very interesting. Don't normally get, like, I guess this is a bracelet. Yeah, this is a bracelet. It's kind of cute. It's definitely broken, but maybe repairable. Oh. This is also J. Crew. This is interesting. I don't think I've gotten this many branded items before, like all in one go. This little stretchy bracelet. Okay, there's another. I'm really wondering if I got somebody else's bag or something. Like, I'm not like famous. But so far, like here's another J. Crew piece, and I think this is another J. Crew piece. I am very excited about this bag so far, or box, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know how to get these apart. I'll have to take them apart later. But one has like little tassels, and one has a silver disc. I don't know. Got a ring. I don't see any markings on it. It's just like a gold tone ring. Got a rainbow, like a metallic, or not metallic, metal uh, feather earring. Another J. Crew piece. Holy crap! And this one doesn't seem like it has any. Well, no, it's missing one thing. I go to say something and then it's not true, but it's missing something. This might have been part of it. It could be repairable. I really, I don't know. Little beaded bracelet. This bag is going pretty fast. Okay, this doesn't have a brand on it. Oh, there's an earring attached. Earring. I don't see a brand on that. But then this blingy 
necklace. I hope that everything is visible. I'm kind of doing this where I can't really see. So if it's not visible, I apologize. Another like a bauble necklace. These used to be like really popular and they've just like fallen out of favor. I think they're cute though. Let's say uh, Mother of Pearl, I think, bracelet. It's kind of cute. I think I see the other earring that I got that I picked out earlier. Yeah, I think this is it. Another J. Crew. This is like a chain mail kind of a necklace. It's definitely interesting. Beaded earring. This is probably handmade. It looks like it, like hand wired. Silver tone, kind of elongated raindrop or teardrop. I don't see any kind of markings on it. It's the other earring. I don't normally get a lot of paired earrings in these either. Ooh, I see something with a tag on it. What? No way. Kate Spade. Retail $78. It's tangled up. It says just married. It's all tangled up, but holy crap, like there's like no, there's nothing wrong with this other than it being tangled up. Well, thank you, ThreadUp. I will gladly take a Kate Spade necklace. Another beaded earring. And the pair for it. What? This is a Kate Spade as well. This is a bangle. Kate Spade, New York, and it's like an animal print. I'm kind of like freaking out a little bit. I have never found Kate Spade like anywhere, like used or anything like that. And that seems like something ThreadUp would take. Holy crap. So um, there's a blingy earring. It's another J. Crew piece. This one looks like it just had the tag on it, just removed or something. I feel like. I must have gotten like a, like they were going out of, like the whole place was shutting down or something and they're just like liquidating their um, stock because this is like way better than any bag I've ever gotten. So there's a blingy earring. Another one of those bobble necklaces and there's another necklace attached to it. see any kind of brand on this one. It's cute. It's like a little lock heart. Yeah, I don't see any branding. And then a red bobble necklace. This is cute too. Live colorfully. Kate Spade, what the heck? Holy crap, what? I'm kind of like speechless right now. Like I kind of freaking out a little bit. Kind of freaking out just a little bit. There's a mom bracelet. I don't see any markings on it other than, you know, the word mom. It's kind of cute. Here we get to the tangles. There's an earring, I think, or something tangled up in here. A wreath earring. It's kind of cute. It's interesting. Like a bib necklace. I think that's what that's called. Uh, 
another J. Crew piece. Holy crap. This one's kind of ugly. So. <laughs> but somebody might like it. I don't know. Earring. More earrings. I think, yeah, both of these I have pairs too. So I'm getting a lot of pairs of earrings too, which I don't normally get. Normally it's like a big mess of non-matching earrings. This is, I think, simply Vera Vera Wang. Oh, there's something else tangled in it. Let's see. I'll have to pull that out later because it's kind of badly tangled, but it's like a very interesting pin. Oh, it says family. I was like, this is very interesting. Oh, it's Scrabble tiles and it says family. That's why it's shaped weird and interesting. Okay. Anyway. Earring. I think this might be a J. Crew. Nope. Maybe I'm just crazy. It looks similar to one that I've gotten in the past. There's a ring. It is marked 925 and it's like a Cladol ring with a red heart. It's cute. Size 7. It looks like it might have had a brand name on it, but I can't read it. It's like badly printed. But it's marked 925. I'll have to test it. And then there's a stretchy bracelet. Cute earring. There's a pair to the wreath earring. Another earring. There's a ring. Satya. S-A-T-Y-A is the brand. It's the only marking I see. It's kind of interesting. I see another ring. Let's see, does this one have any markings? I don't see any. Just like a little red stone. It's an earring. <clears throat> There's another cake spade. What the heck? This one's a little bit... I don't know exactly how this works. Oh, okay, so you do that and then you twist it for it to stay closed. Interesting. But also, what the heck, another Kate Spade. I got this bag from the Vernon, Illinois um, Thread Up location. I wonder if maybe they're just going to stop selling jewelry so they're just like liquidating everything. But still, like... This much Kate Spade and J. Crew and all that in one bag is just freaking insane. This is cute. It looks handmade. Oh, that's a, um, when it's backwards, it's Rivoli stone, maybe? I don't know. But it's like the stone is set backwards. It's very cool. I like that. I don't see any kind of markings. Stretchy bracelet. I don't think that I think I had the pair to this one. Yep. Nice. I'm very excited, you guys. I'm like pumped. BCBG generation or BCB generation. It's like a pixel heart pendant. That's cool. I like that. Another earring. I definitely had the pair to that one. Moby, I think is the brand of this one. It's like an open heart. That is cool. It says M-O-B-Y, I think. I might be wrong. And then it says made in Italy. Another stretchy bracelet. Oh, these feel like glass beads. That's cool. kind of running out of room on my little table here. Okay. 
I don't see any markings, but this is pretty cool. It's a multi-strand necklace, and it's got like these, um, I don't know what the shape is, but it kind of reminds me of something like vintage. Pope Coast. I don't know. It's a flower on a chain. That one's pretty cool. I like the style of these where it's like it dangles down in like a bib kind of a shape. Oh no! Well, this one is definitely broken because the part fell off of it as I was pulling it out, but probably repairable. And it's J. Crew as well. It's pretty cool. It's a little beaded bracelet. Charm bracelet with a K. It doesn't look like there's any, well, no, I'm wrong. There's a stone missing on this one. It didn't look like it at first. It looked like maybe it was just dirty. There's a necklace and it is marked Monet. It's a little bit different than a lot of the Monet stuff I've seen in the past. There's an earring. I think I have the pair to this one and this one. Another earring. It's like a dangly, like a long dangle earring. It's a necklace and it does have a mark Satya. It's Satya and it's got like a, I can't remember what they're called, but it's a flower on the, the hang tag. It's pretty cool. Stretchy bracelet. And another bracelet. I don't see any markings like brand wise on this one. So, this is my little haul. I'm gonna kind of scoot it over. I am freaking excited. I cannot believe how many pieces of Kate Spade and J. Crew were in this bag. What the heck? Um, thread up if you were trying to get me to come back and buy more boxes. This is the way you do it. <laughs> Um, so I may be back with another box. I was thinking that this one was going to be my last one, but maybe not. So I will see you guys next time and let me know what you think of my haul.